Apple River Fort, today known as the Apple River Fort State Historic Site, was one of many frontier forts hastily completed by settlers in northern Illinois and southern Wisconsin following the onset of the 1832 Black Hawk War. Located in present-day Elizabeth, Illinois, United States, the fort at the Apple River settlement was built in less than a week. It was one of the few forts attacked during the war and the only one attacked by a band led by Black Hawk himself. At the Battle of Apple River Fort, a firefight of about an hour ensued, with Black Hawk's forces eventually withdrawing. The fort suffered one militiaman killed in action, and another wounded. After the war, the fort stood until 1847 being occupied by squatters before being sold to a private property owner who dismantled the building. Today, a replica of the fort stands next to the site of the original Apple River Fort. Constructed between 1996 and 1997 by a non-profit organization, the replica was based on earlier archaeological investigations of the site which revealed information about the layout and settlement at the fort. In 1997 the Apple River Fort site was listed on the National Register of Historic Places, and in 2001 the state of Illinois took over operations of the site and designated it the Apple River Fort State Historic Site. Apple River Fort was one of numerous Illinois historic sites slated to close October 1, 2008 due to cuts in the Illinois budget by Governor Rod Blakejevich. After Blakejevich was impeached and removed from office, new Illinois Governor Pat Quinn reopened the site in May 2009. History Early History The early settlers in the vicinity of Apple River Fort, probably miners, likely arrived more than a decade before the fort's construction. The miners settled the site and built log cabins around and near the Kellogg's Trail, a route from Galena to Dixon's Ferry. They obtained fresh water from a nearby spring. Black Hawk War Background The fort's construction was motivated by the Black Hawk War which was a consequence of an 1804 treaty between the Governor of the Indiana Territory and a Council of Leaders from the Sauk and Fox Native American Tribes. Three the treaty, regarding land settlement, ceded 50 million acres 200,000 kilometers two of Sauk and Fox land to the United States for $2,234.50 and an annual annuity of $1,000. 3-4 The treaty was controversial, Salk Chief Black Hawk, and others disputed its validity because they said that the full tribal councils were not consulted and the council that negotiated the treaty did not have the authority to cede land. 3 The treaty also allowed the Salk and Fox to remain on their land until it was sold. 4. After the discovery of Leiden and around Galena, Illinois during the 1820s, miners began moving into the area ceded in the 1804 treaty. When the Sauk and Fox returned from the winter hunt in 1829 they found their land occupied by white settlers and were forced to return west of the Mississippi River. For angered by the loss of his birthplace, between 1830-31 Black Hawk led a number of incursions across the Mississippi but was persuaded to return west each time without bloodshed. In April 1832, encouraged by promises of alliance with other tribes and the British, he again moved his so-called British band of around 1,000 warriors and non-combatants across the river into Illinois. Three finding number allies, he attempted to return to Iowa, but the undisciplined Illinois militia's actions led to the Battle of Stillman's Run 5 after the first clash at Stillman's Run, construction at the Apple River Fort site advanced quickly. 6 7 a number of other engagements followed, and the militias of Michigan Territory and Illinois were then mobilized to hunt down Black Hog's Bend.